So this would be something that you had to commercially buy in the shops in Britain during the Second World War. Um, during World War II, with the threat of attacks from the air, various toy and game manufacturers quickly cottoned onto the idea that there was a need for the civilian population to identify Axis and Allied aircraft in the air. Um, some ways they did it were by board games, another way they did it were by this playing card game. And this is uh, one such game issued by the Temple Press in 1941. It's called Warplanes, a card game for aircraft spotters. So no doubt they were also bought and used by Royal Observer Corps units for spotting aircraft. But really it was a, a civilian based commercially available game. You had to purchase it in the shops. So we'll take a look at this. And there's various there's various um, different aircraft spotters playing cards out there. But this is the one issued by Temple Press called Warplanes. And it's British and German planes. So we'll take a look at this. This is the card box. This is the outer. And it says Warplanes, a card game for aircraft spotters. Published by the Temple Press, London. And on the back is a kind of representation of the illustration on the back of the cards. The box is a pull apart box. You pull it apart. That's the shell. That's the inner. Inside you have all the cards that are just similar to normal playing cards until you turn them over. You have the instructions and it says Warplanes, the card game for aircraft spotters, rules and alternative games. And the handy thing about having the uh, the, uh, the rule book is when you turn it over, when you read the details at the bottom, the publishing details, it says printed in England and published by Temple Press Limited and there's a series of numbers followed by a dash and a two digit number, in this case 4-1 which is the year of publication, 1941. Easy way to identify it. So, it says, if we open it up, this pack consists of 67 cards, i.e. 65 illustrated cards representing five different views each of 13 British and German aircraft and two key cards. It will be noted that 52 of the cards also bear the ordinary playing card numbers and symbols representing spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs, thus enabling the pack to be used minus the 13 general view and the two key cards for playing any game for which ordinary playing cards are used. Rules In this game of Warplanes, the pack is divided into 13 sets, each set consisting of the five views of each of the 13 aircraft. The two key cards are not used. Three or more players can take part and they cut for deal. The cards are shuffled and dealt out five to each player and the remainder placed in the centre of the table face downwards. The dealer commences by asking any player for a card belonging to a set of which he has one or more cards in his hand. Thus, if the dealer has one of the five defiant cards for example, defiant being the name of an aircraft, in his possession, he may ask any player for one of the other defiant cards. If successful, he may continue until refused. Any player may be asked who must, of course, part with the card if he has it. After being refused, the dealer takes the top card from the pack on the table and the right to ask passes to the next player who, when the right to ask passes from him, also takes the top card from the table pack. When a player's cards are exhausted, his turn to ask passes to the player on his left. Player continues until all the table pack is exhausted and all the sets have been completed. The player with the largest number of sets or in the event of a tie, the player with sets totaling the highest value, based on the ordinary values as indicated on the corners of the cards, is the winner. It should be noted that a player who has been asked for a card and give it, given it up may, when it is his turn, ask for it back again, providing he still has 
or has picked up from the top of the table pack a card belonging to the same set, i.e. another view of the same aircraft. So that's how you play the game in the pack. It has alternative games that we won't go into that you can play. So you can play a game with the British Bomber cards. You can play a game with the other cards. So that's the instructions. So the cards are thus. That's a key card. And it basically sets out the British aircraft. This is the British aircraft key card. And it says Fighters, Defiant, Spitfire Mark 1, Hurricane Mark 1, Bombers, Blenheim 4, Wellington 1A, Whitley 4, Hamden. And we have representations. Spitfire. And it has general details and a general view. And then we have the Bolton Pole Defiant. Then we have the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1. Bristol Blenheim 4. Wellington 1A. Whitley 4. Handley Page Hamden. And then we have the German aircraft key. And we have fighters. Messerschmitt ME 109E. Messerschmitt ME 110. Heinkel HE 113. Bombers. Heinkel HE 3K Mark VA. Donia DO 215. Junkers JU 88A1. That's a key card. And we have ME 110. Heinkel HE 113. Heinkel HE 111K. Donia DO 215. Junkers JU 88A1. Messerschmitt ME109E and then we have the normal numbered and suited playing cards which are views of the same aircraft so in the the hearts you have the below view looking upwards if you're standing on the ground looking up in the air this is the underside of the aircraft and as well as being a thing to play a game with it gives you some little details when you look above, recognised by short transparent nose, slightly tapered shoulder wings, twin fins and rudders. And they're all illustrations from the aeroplane. And this one is German bomber JU-88A1, viewed from below. And it says, recognised by short transparent nose, radial cowlings, angular wings, single fin and rudder. Then you have the Heinkel HE-111K, again from below, recognised by short transparent nose, straight tapered wings with cut out at root, single fin and rudder. Then we have the Hanley Page Hamden, and again it's a below view, recognised by narrow deep fuselage, mid wings with all taper on trailing edge, twin fins and rudders, and, and so it goes on and on. So there are the red cards with various views, and then... We have the clubs, which are, so they're all, the red ones are all from the ground looking upwards. These are all the club cards, which are all looking head on. So you have the Donia DO215, the ends. Recognised by short transparent nose, slightly tapered shoulder wings, twin fins and rudders. So you have the front and the kind of back view. And then again front and back view JU88A1 and front and back view back view Heinkel 111K and so it goes on through the clubs and then you get to the spades and it's side views Bolton Pole Defiant and Wellington etc etc and so it goes all through those and then you get the hearts, which are the above view looking down onto the top of the aircraft. If you're in another aircraft looking below you, with the aircraft below you. So really informative and a game for all the family. So that's the 
1941 warplanes.